Hola amores, what's up everyone? My name is Christina, and if this is your first time stumbling across my humble little channel, welcome. Um, today I will be doing a video tutorial to add on to my Faces of Fall series, which I've done a couple looks for so far. So, um, just a quick little background, um, what you can expect to see on my channel. Um, definitely tutorials, as I said. Um, I am a makeup artist, and I do work as a makeup artist as like my side gig on the weekends um, but I also I just have a love of makeup and I recently decided to create a YouTube channel and start making videos so here I am um, I don't consider myself to be much of a product reviewer just because let's keep it real I am not balling I do not have the money to go out and buy all the new products all the new palettes all the new stuff that comes out as much as I wish I had the money to buy every new thing that came out I don't you know I am a single mom I have a mortgage I have a lot of bills to pay I can't spend all my money on makeup so what you can expect to see is a lot of um affordable drugstore products being used and then of course I um have I use some you know higher end stuff and some indie brand stuff so I don't discriminate I use a little bit of everything so um so if you watch my videos, you'll definitely see stuff I think everyone can afford to use, if money is a concern for you. So anyway, um, so um, I will be doing a fall look. I think I'm going to do something that kind of incorporates the different colors of the leaves. So something with red, orange, yellow, brown, and a little bit of like a dark green. So we'll see what I come up with. Anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and let's get started. To prep my face, I will be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Just spray that on there. I love that this is like a fine mist. Not like some other sprays that's like, psh, psh. you know, it's a... Uh, it's a continuous mist, so very nice, very nice. Now, some people go right onto their face. I actually like to start with my eyes. So I will be using, I'm gonna be trying out this new e.l.f. Um, brow pencil that I got. And I believe this is the deepest color. This is deep brown. I just got this at Walmart a few days ago. So I will be trying this pencil out. Let's see how it does. This is what it looks like. I tip, and then it has the spoolie on the other end. So let's see. I did pluck my eyebrows a few days ago because they were in desperate need. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. My little ones like to pop in and out while I'm doing videos, so it's um, it's a good chance they might just show up, so don't mind them. One of them is around here, so. As a two-year-old and a four-year-old little girl, so you can imagine them always seeing mommy doing her makeup, they wanna do their makeup too. And uh, if you see my bedroom carpet right now because I'm in my bedroom right now my carpet Hi, looks mommy. like funfetti cake mix from all the makeup they've gotten on the floor so um this brush it's more of like a, a softer pencil which is okay um I do usually prefer for them to be a little more stiff but it's not bad So next, I will be taking my Artistry Exact Fit Concealer in the color medium. So I will be using this to clean up the bottom of my eyebrows, but also I'm going to put it all over my lid to serve as an eyeshadow base. And of course, you can use regular eyeshadow primer, but lately I just find it easier. Just go ahead and use concealer, it does the same thing. Next, I'm going to take this flat little concealer brush and just clean up the line under my eyebrows to make the line sharp and clean. I 
For today's video, I wanted to highlight doing or applying eyeshadow for hooded eyes. I have hooded eyes and I've been doing makeup for about five years now and funny but I never realized that I had hooded eyes and I would always wonder why one why would I would always wow why I would always have product transfer so much from like whatever I would put on my lid up to here and I would wonder why if I did my eyeliner kind of thick like when I would take like it would look good if my eyes were like closed but as soon as I opened my eyes I would feel like the eyeliner would take over basically what I did and you couldn't see what or the color that I actually put on my lid. And that has been a struggle for me because I love a thick, dramatic, like, cat eye liner. And I can't really do it because it just takes up all my lid space. So, um, and the other thing is I have one eye that is more hooded than the other. So this one, for example, look at all that. Look at that. So... It's a struggle. It is a struggle. So I've had to learn, and luckily I've learned, some techniques to help me work around my hooded eyes. And so I will kind of be sharing on that today. So um, I will be starting with my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. If I could find it. I just had it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I think for the crease, I'm going to use this brown color right here. So for hooded eyes, the trick is you can so on a normal eye, you would put the crease color like right in your crease. Like that's why it's called a crease color. But for hooded eyes, what I've learned is you want to actually put the crease color above the the fold here so you want to put it above your actual crease so you're moving or kind of creating a socket higher up than where the fold actually is so let's go ahead and do that right now And I like to work on both of my eyes simultaneously, so you'll see me switching back and forth a lot. So I'm going to take this Inferno palette by um, Bad Habits, and um, this is actually a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. And I'm going to take this darker color over here, Smolder, and I'm going to put that... Um, also in the crease to create a little more dimension. Try and get the right brush here. Okay. So this is an e.l.f. eye crease brush. And so I'm going to put that um, again above my fold, but like towards the bottom of that socket I just created. So, I think I want to do a cut crease, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So, I'm going to take um, my Artistry Concealer again, and I'm going to cut the crease. And I'm probably only going to take it halfway over. And again, you want to make sure um, you're doing it above your, where your actual um, fold is. Because when you open your eyes, you want to be able to actually see your lid color. So now I'll be going in again with the um, Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm going to take this yellow color right here 
And I'm gonna put that on the, um, the inner third of my lid. So I'm just gonna pat that on there. This color you do need to build up a bit. But I think that's with most yellows. Yellow is a hard color to make. And a good yellow at that. Yeah. Next color, which we will put in the middle of our eyelid, I'm going to take the orange color right here. Now. Okay, put your pants on. Okay. Now this here is the Hard Candy Rose Gold Palette. As you can see, has a lot of similar colors to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Um, I honestly, I got it mostly for this shade right here. I love pink that has like gold shimmer in it. There you can really see there. And actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and swatch some of these colors because people be sleeping on hard candy and think it's just a cheap, flashy brand, but. You know what, a lot of stuff actually isn't that bad. I'm just gonna swatch some of the shimmery colors here so y'all can see. They're actually very pretty. So, that's them right there. But I'm going to be using this um, this matte red over here, and I'm going to put that on the outer third of um, both my eyes. So this isn't like a pure red. It's more of a darker red when you actually put it on. We're almost like a burgundy, but that's okay. So as you can see, all of the colors that I've placed, I've put above my fold. And now when I look straight ahead, it looks like I have more lid space because I've placed them higher up than where my fold actually is. So I feel like I need some glitter in my life because I love glitter and why not? So I'm going to take this little pigment, this is from XOXO Sugar Cosmetics, and this came with their big um, bronze beauty bronzer, looks like this, it smells so good, I love their stuff, I just want to eat it, but of course it's not edible, don't eat it, but it smells so good, and if you're from the DMV, this company is a DMV based um, minority black owned business. So support your local businesses, guys. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, and I think I'm gonna put it over the orange. Just a little bit on there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it over the orange and the yellow. Just to make it a little more festive. There you go. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm recording all of these videos on my phone. Hopefully one day I'll be able to afford a super nice camera like all of these beauty gurus out there. But for now, your girl is recording her videos on a Galaxy S8. Yes, I like it that much better. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to line the bottom of my eyes with a green. And um, another tip for hooded eyes, um, if you want to make your eyes look bigger, you don't want to necessarily, yes. You don't want to necessarily um, line on the, put liner right on your waterline because that will make your eyes look smaller. So you just want to put it a little under your actual waterline. So I'm going to use the Zulu palette again. And I'm going to go in with, actually, you know what, I think I'm going to mix between these two colors here. But mainly focus on this shimmery green because this other one is more like a teal. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use the green by itself. Okay, so this is the Artistry Cosmetics Illuminating Light Up Compact. Looks like this. Has a little switch so you can turn a little um, lights on. No, oh, there you go. So that's pretty cute. So I'm gonna go in with this um, gold color right there, and I'm gonna put that under my brows to highlight um, that area right there. And another thing with hooded eyes is. If you're going to highlight up here, you don't want to bring it too far down because all that does is actually highlight the fold of your hooded eyes. So, um, but actually with eyebrow shape too, you want to make sure that no matter what the shape of your eyebrows are, you do want it to be a bit arched so that it, it pulls like the shape of your eyes upwards. And again, just keep the, the brow highlight like right here. Don't bring it too far down. Because again, you want to create the illusion that you have more lid space than what you actually have. And you don't want to bring a lot of attention to the fold of the hooded eye. Put that same color, I'm going to put a little bit of that in the inner corner of my eyes. Just to brighten that up. To do our eyeliner, so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega liner. I love this eyeliner. And I'm like, excuse me, you're being loud. Thank you. Okay, so eyeliner for hooded eyes. So I've had to learn that I can't make it super thick from the beginning like sometimes I'd like to. So for hooded eyes, you definitely want to keep it as close to your lash line as possible for like the first two thirds and then if you want to wing it out you can definitely wing it out but you want to also follow like where your folds end how low they go and so my fold on this eye it like goes a little further down than on this eye so when I try to do winged liners there's always an issue once I get to this corner here so I have to kind of like Start the wing a little further out, but I'll, I'll just show y'all what I mean. So, okay, okay, so I'm gonna start off and just make it pretty thin um, in the beginning. And I, I always start in the center of my eye, I don't know why, that's just where I like to start. Okay, so now that I'm at the end. So my fold ends right here. So now I can start bringing my line, my wing out that way. And hopefully, so let me just kind of drop it out and hopefully it shouldn't get too much in the way of my fold. Okay, so that's why I'm going to do it. So 
So there goes the liner. Um, I do sometimes make it thicker than this. Um, I've done it enough times I can kind of get around my fold there. But generally, if you have a hooded eye, you want to keep it somewhat like this. Not too thick because again, since your fold hangs over your lid and covers your lid or part of your lid, um, you don't want the liner to take over your lid either. So there's that. Mascara. So I'm going to be taking my Artistry Signaturized Volume Mascara. And I also bought this little mascara applying wand situations, which is supposed to make it easier for you to apply your mascara. And I bought it just so that I don't get it on my eyelid, which sometimes happens. So uh, let's see if I can work with this thing. Okay, oops. So I think, okay, so... I think you're supposed to put it like this. Rest that on your eyes and then go like that, I guess. Okay. Wow. Okay, I guess it works, y'all. Wow, where have you been all my life? Okay, that actually works, guys. I'm impressed. Such a simple tool. Yeah, it makes such a big difference. Now, I will be applying false lashes, but I always leave that for the end. That's just how I do things. So now we get to move on to the base. For foundation, I will be using the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation in the color Nutmeg. So I'm just gonna pump um, dots all over my face. Now I kind of alternate between using a brush and wanting to use a sponge, but I just prefer to use a brush. So um, this is a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna use that and to buff the foundation in. And I am warm toned, so this color nutmeg is a warm tone foundation. Once again, taking my Artistry Concealer, and I'm going to use this to highlight my face. So I'm just going to do a few streaks here, a little bit here, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, a little bit on top of my cubist bow, and then on my chin. As far as contouring, sometimes I actually do go back with a cream contour and, you know, do all the lines. Other times I just contour with powder. So today, I think after I set um, my highlight and my foundation, I'm just going to contour with powder to keep the contour a little more natural looking. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream, or no, sorry, not cream, powder contour kit. And I'm going to be taking this middle color here, which is a more yellow toned color. I'm going to use that to set the highlight under my eyes and on my forehead and on my chin and also um, on the bridge of my nose. I haven't experimented too much with loose powder just because I feel like they can be messy. And though I feel like more people nowadays use loose powders for this part, but I'm just going to stick with the pressed powder for now just to keep it simple. So when contouring around your nose, um, you don't want to stop just here. You want to actually bring it up the side of your nose a bit. So highlight up to like here on both sides. And that'll give the illusion of a narrower nose if that's the type of look you're going for. 
the contour. Um, I'm going to be going back in with this palette. And I'm going to kind of alt switch between these two colors here. Now this dark color did not originally come with the pan. I had actually switched it out. You can take these out. And I got the darkest shade that they had. And I put that one there. So I'm just going to start um, with my cheek area. Then work my way up. And around the entire perimeter of my face because I do have quite a forehead. And of course you want to contour, you know, according to the side of your face. Or shape, I should say. Blush, I'm going to be using a color from the Artistry Cosmetics On The Go Face Palette. And I'm going to use um, the color number 5 right here. Now one of my favorite parts of the whole routine, highlight! So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Glow Kit. And I'm going to go in with the color Butterscotch, which is right there. Now, I like to make my highlight pretty intense. Of course, you don't need to do that. If you like a subtle highlight, go ahead and do it subtly. But I do like it to be pretty glowing. So. I don't know how much you can really see on here, but. Alright, so next is lips. Now, part of me is saying just go ahead with the nude because you got all the colors on the lids, but I just, I just can't, I can't. I love using a bold lip. I've only gotten into using nude colors within like maybe the last two years because I just saw that's what people would do a lot, but that's just not who I am. I like to use bold colors on my lips. So, I will be using... This Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the color Video Vixen. Love this lipstick. It's not patchy. It goes on pretty smoothly. It and I get on your teeth a little bit, but. I really like it. Let me tell you, Wet n Wild has just come such a long way. Such a long way. Their products lately are just bomb. Like all of them. Who doesn't like a vampy lip? These are the lashes I will be using. These are the e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, Lush Lash Kit, and these are the style Starstruck. Finished look, y'all. Let me get a little closer so you can see the detail of the eyes a little better. No. So I hope you all enjoy getting ready with me to go nowhere. It is now like 9.30 p.m., something like that. So I will just be wearing this for a few more hours. Um so that my TV can look at me and gaze at my beauty, then I will be going to sleep. But nonetheless, I enjoy making this video. And if you enjoyed watching me make this video, then enjoy some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.